Seriously, based on last night, you and Victoria are headed for trouble. So I got this kind of interesting job offer to run a bakery in Denver. <laughs> That's too crazy though, right? Right? Uh, yeah. The high altitude would affect the density of the pastries. <laughs> I mean, talk about half-baked. <laughs> this is a great night. That was Victoria asking you to move to Denver with her. What? Then why wouldn't she just come right out and say what she wants? Man, it's like if there weren't pickle jars to open and spiders to kill and computers to back up, what would be their point? Mm-hmm. Okay, when did Marshall become a slightly more feminine you? Look, Ted, it gets exhausting constantly giving people advice they haven't asked for. So I'm training Marshall. My goal is to eventually say things that are so sassy and wise that there is no possible response other than mmm or mmm-mmm. And if this is a place where we can share our dreams, I like to think that it is. I hope someday to earn a testify. Look, Victoria and I are five months in, and we're right where we should be. Right, we're we're co-signing birthday cards. We, we got toothbrushes at each other's places. Four plays out the window. I'm in, I'm out, I'm sleeping. It's great. It's more than five months. You guys dated before. That time counts. The clock doesn't reset to zero. It unpauses from where you left off. No way. No way. The clock resets. <laughs> oh. Wait, so this is what you guys do? You invite other couples over for dinner to judge them and feel superior? Oh, grow up, Ted. That's why any couple invites anyone over ever. Well, you were right. Victoria says something's holding us back, and I don't have any idea what it is. Any brilliant insights, Oprah? Stedman? Um, try Gail. <laughs> I want you to take this one. You're ready. Oh, I don't know. But I do hear this little voice in the back of my head trying to tell me something. That's your inner goddess. Listen to her. Channel her. If it told you, quenches your thirst like a tall glass of sweet tea on a hot July day. Marshall, why is she southern? Don't let him break the connection. Well, you gotta make an honest woman out of her. Okay, I'm leaving it. But, but, if not, well then, sugar, you gotta let that nightingale spread her wings and soar to her own beautiful tomorrow. Testify. You guys are the worst. <laughs>